Wow most of you count correctly that they are not 32 birds. This is another thing that the count was different. If you are new to this channel and don't know what I am talking about, please watch my previous video but before that please hit the subscribe button so you found my videos and notifications. Let's start with the remaining from 32 most colorful birds. The common kingfisher grows to around 6 inches, 15 centimeters, long and has a wingspan of 10 inches, 25 centimeters, which is slightly larger than a European robin's, Erythicus rubecula. Its back is metallic blue, and its breast is coppery brown. Females can be distinguished from males by a red patch at the base of the bill. The red-bearded bee-eater, Nycteornis amictus, is a striking, leaf-green bird that lives in the lowland and foothill forests of southern Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, Borneo and Sumatra. It is named after the scarlet feathers that stretch from the base of its bill to its belly. The red-bearded bee-eater also has a pink crown, orange eyes and yellow feathers on the underside of its tail. Its unique song is characterized by a series of frog-like croaks. Like other bee-eaters, a group of colorful birds comprising 27 species, red-bearded bee-eaters have elongated central tail feathers, a downward curved bill and pointed wings. The paradise tanager, Tangara chilensis, is a 5.5-inch long, 14 centimeters, songbird with a lime green head and a turquoise breast and belly. Depending on the subspecies, of which there are four scientists know, paradise tanagers have red or yellow feathers at the base of their tails. Paradise tanagers like to stay high in the canopy, hanging out in mixed species flocks and moving rapidly between perches as they forage. As its name suggests, the scarlet macaw, Era macau, is mostly covered in bright red feathers. But this bird also has a blue lower back and wing tips, as well as a yellow rump and a white, featherless face. Scarlet macaws are the largest parrots in the world, measuring up to 33 inches, 84 centimeters, from beak to tail end. Scarlet macaws mate for life and spend most of their time in large, noisy flocks. Wood ducks, ex sponsa, also known as Carolina ducks, are native to North America. They live year-round in the southeastern United States and along the Pacific coast. Males have striking red eyes and a red bill that fades into yellow at the base. Their crown and crest are an emerald green, with white stripes that extend to form a collar around the neck. The painted bunting, Passerina cirrus, is a rainbow-colored bird that's native to North America, with an eastern population that breeds in Georgia and South Carolina and a western population centered in Texas. The eastern birds migrate to Florida and the Caribbean for the winter, while the western flock heads to the Pacific shores of Mexico. The birds in these populations look and sound similar, with adult males sporting electric blue feathers on their crown, a red breast and a lime green upper back. The painted bunting's song is loud and shrill, and its call is sharp and metallic. The violet saberwing, Campylopterus hemelucurus, which grows up to 6 inches, 15 centimeters, long, is the largest species of hummingbird in Mexico and Central America. Males are covered in iridescent, bluish-purple feathers that glimmer in sunlight and look blackish in the shade. Females are less resplendent, with just a few shimmering feathers around their neck and cheeks. Both males and females have a thick, arched bill and white tail corners. The rainbow lorikeet, Trichoglossus moluccanus, is a highly colorful bird found in northern and eastern Australia. It has a red bill, a blue head and belly, a green back and wings and a dappled yellow and orange breast. Males and females look alike and grow to around 12 inches, 30 centimeters, from beak to tail. The black-backed dwarf kingfisher, Ceyx erythica, is one of the smallest known kingfishers, growing to between 5 and 5.5 inches, 13 to 14 centimeters, in length, including the bill and tail. Its crown and tail are fuchsia red, and its bill is coral red and shaped like a dagger. The bird also has a pale orange belly and cheeks, patchy, dark blue wings, and a white throat. The vulturine guineafowl, Acrylium vulturinum, is a goose-sized, long-necked bird that's native to eastern Africa, with a range extending from southern Ethiopia to northern Tanzania. Vulturine guineafowl live in flocks of up to a dozen birds and roam around dry savanna and scrublands, foraging for seeds, tubers, roots, small reptiles, rodents and insects. They have an electric blue breast and back overlaid with long, black and white feathers, as well as red eyes, a bald head, and a chestnut patch on the nape. The curl-crested arasari, Pteroglossus boharnesi, is a small toucan found in humid tropical forests across Bolivia, Brazil and Peru. 
The species is named after its crown, which is covered in soft, grayish curls. The curl-crested arasaris has a turquoise circle around its eyes, scarlet feathers on its nape and belly, speckled cheeks and an enormous, colorful bill. It is not as vocal as other arasaris, a group of birds that includes medium-sized toucans and the saffron toucanet, Pteroglossus baloni. Instead, it produces only soft grunts and an occasional loud yelp. Curl-crested arasaris fly around the forest canopy in flocks of up to a dozen birds, foraging for fruit, as well as other birds' eggs and chicks. The golden pheasant, Chrysolophus pictus, also known as the rainbow pheasant, is native to China and was introduced to the UK in the 1700s and to Hawaii in the mid-1990s. Males, which grow up to 3.8 feet, 1.16 meters, long from head to tail tip, have bright red feathers on their breast and underparts, a golden quiff and lower back, and a striped, orange and black neck. Like other pheasants, Phasianidae, it also has a long, finely striped tail. Females are pale brown and finely striped all over. Golden pheasants are shy and surprisingly difficult to spot, as they keep to dark, dense woodland and roost in the trees at night. The scarlet-chested parrot, Neophema splendida, is a nomadic bird found mostly in the Great Victoria Desert of southwestern Australia. It can survive for long periods without access to drinking water by sucking moisture out of succulent plants. Males have a bright blue head and wings, scarlet feathers on their breast, a green back and yellow underparts. Females are slightly duller in color and lack a scarlet chest. Scarlet-chested parrots grow to around 7.8 inches, 20 centimeters, in length and cry out soft, two-syllable calls that sound like chirps when repeated. They also emit sharp whistles when they feel threatened. The roseate spoonbill, Platylea ajaja, is a large wading bird named after its two most striking features, pink plumage and a long, flattened, spoon-shaped bill. Although its neck and upper back are white, its breast, middle back and wings are baby pink. The lower back, front of the wings and tail are scarlet, with an orange patch above the wings and around the eyes. Juveniles are dusty pink, and their heads are covered in feathers, which fall out as the birds mature to reveal pale green scalps. Roseate spoonbills are found in freshwater and saltwater marshes from the Gulf Coast of the United States through much of South America, living as far south as the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic Ocean. They grow up to 2.5 feet 76 centimeters, tall and the largest roseate spoonbills attain a wingspan of 4 feet, 1.2 meters. The Nicobar pigeon, Caloenas nicobarica, is a ground-dwelling bird found on small islands and coastal regions from India's Andaman and Nicobar Islands to the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific Ocean. It is the only extant member of its genus and possibly the closest living relative of the extinct dodo, according to Avabase. The Nicobar pigeon has a mane of blue feathers that hangs from its neck like a hula skirt, as well as green, yellow and copper feathers on its back. It is slightly larger than other pigeons, measuring around 1.3 feet 40 centimeters, long. Nicobar pigeon numbers are declining in the wild due to being captured for the pet trade and being hunted for food and their gizzard stones, which are used to make jewelry. Habitat loss and invasive species also threaten these birds. The European bee-eater, Merops apiaster, is one of 27 known bee-eater species, which include the aforementioned red-bearded bee-eater. European bee-eaters are more widely distributed than their name suggests, with a range spanning through eastern and southern Africa, Europe and Mongolia. The European bee-eater's long, pointed bill helps it catch insects in mid-air before it bashes them against a branch to stun the insects and remove any venom-loaded stings. The European bee-eater is brightly colored, with a canary yellow throat, a blue belly and tail tips, and a copper crown that fades into mustard yellow feathers on its back. These gregarious birds nest colonially in burrows, which they dig out of vertical sandbanks. As its name suggests, the crimson sunbird, Ethopyga siparaja, has striking red feathers, which form a poncho around its breast and back. Males also have an iridescent blue cap and dark, mustache-like markings on their neck. Females are olive yellow and lack these decorative features. Crimson sunbirds, which grow up to 5.3 inches, 13.5 centimeters, long, are common throughout Southeast Asia, with a range extending from northern India to Malaysia and Indonesia. They can hover in the air like hummingbirds and similarly feed on the nectar of flowers, but they also often perch while foraging. The violet-backed starling, 
Cine Rickenclue's leucogaster, also known as the plum-colored starling or amethyst starling, is a highly sexually dimorphic species, meaning male and female birds look drastically different. Male violet-backed starlings have a top half covered with iridescent purple feathers that change shade depending on the light. Their breast and underparts are snowy white. Females also have white underparts, but their back and head are brown and their entire body is streaked with dark brown. Violet-backed starlings, which grow to around 6.7 inches 17 centimeters, long, live in forests across eastern, southern and western Africa. They feed on fruit and insects, and they play an important role in dispersing mistletoe seeds throughout their habitat. Unlike violet-backed starlings, male and female golden-hooded tanagers, Tangara larvata, look alike, with light blue feathers standing out against mostly black plumage and a dark yellow hood framing the face. The violet-backed starling also has an orange patch on its throat, as well as white underparts. These birds have a range extending from southern Mexico to northwestern Ecuador, and are sometimes seen in feeding flocks with other birds, such as honeycreepers, cyanerpes, and euphonias, euphonia. Golden-hooded tanagers, which grow to about 5 inches, 13 centimeters, long, build their nests in between forked tree branches or in bunches of green bananas. The Indian roller, Corsius bengalensis, shows off its colors best when it's flying, revealing light blue wings with sapphire bands and tips. The same color combination is present on its tail feathers, which fan out into a large V-shape. Males and females look alike, with a dark olive back, a salmon-colored breast, and narrow, protruding feathers around the bill. Indian rollers inhabit open, agricultural areas in India, around the Persian Gulf and along the coast of Oman. I hope you liked the video and already subscribed to my channel if still didn't press the subscribe button please do and hit the like button and comment are we really told about 32 colorful birds? Thanks for watching.